The Dawn of Airmail, A Tale of Courage, Innovation, and Progress, 1918-1924, in the early 20th century, the United States embraced a new era of communication with the birth of the airmail service. This thrilling tale chronicles the heroic efforts of aviators and visionaries who pioneered the skies to deliver mail faster than ever before, braving treacherous conditions and pushing the boundaries of technological innovation. In August 1918, the U.S. Army transferred responsibility for airmail delivery to the Post Office Department, marking the beginning of the first regular airmail service between College Park, Maryland, and Chicago. Using mostly surplus to Haviland DH-4 aircraft and standard aircraft company Junior 1B planes, the Post Office Department hired experienced pilots and established airmail routes across the country. Despite numerous setbacks, including forced landings, weather-related crashes, and mechanical failures, the airmail service persevered. By 1920, the post office had delivered 49 million letters and expanded its routes, even incorporating the German-made Junkers F-13. In 1919, the first international airmail flight took place between Vancouver, Canada, and Seattle, Washington, using the Boeing Model C. Later that year, the airmail service extended its reach to Victoria, British Columbia, employing the Boeing B-1 flying boat. The airmail service faced significant challenges, including poor flying conditions and pressure from Assistant Postmaster General Otto Prager to maintain strict schedules despite hazardous weather. Tragically, many pilots lost their lives during this period. In response to these dangers, the pilots went on strike in July 1919, demanding safer working conditions. The strike resulted in new safety measures, including weather checks by field managers before allowing flights to proceed. Determined to demonstrate the efficiency of airmail, Prager organized a transcontinental airmail test in February 1921. Pilot Jack Knight played a pivotal role, flying a staggering 830 miles by night in freezing conditions, guided only by bonfires and flares along the ground. The successful test showcased the potential of airmail, reducing the cross-country mail delivery time from four and a half days by train to just 33 hours 20 minutes. Continued progress saw the installation of radio stations and flashing beacon lamps along the routes, as well as improvements in aircraft technology. By 1924, regularly scheduled transcontinental airmail service was in operation, with pilots flying both day and night, guided by a lighted airway system. This remarkable achievement marked a new era in communication and transportation, forever changing the way the world connected. In this gripping narrative, experience the triumphs and tribulations of the brave pioneers who brought the airmail service to life forever altering the course of history and paving the way for the modern age of aviation.